Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm gonna keep calling it our channel, although it seems like I'm uploading and narrating a lot more of our content lately. It was still originally planned that this would be me and Han's channel together. It's really funny because when we first started talking about starting a YouTube channel, it was Han who really pushed for us to start one. <laughs> and he wants to like edit and just kind of like learn how to do some of those skills. Um, if you know Han, he can't sit still. He does not like to be idle. So he wanted a new hobby and it was gonna be YouTube. Uh, but it's kind of turned into maybe more so my content. Um, so anyways, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was thinking of fun videos to do that were, you know, fairly simple, didn't take a lot of time to edit like some of the vlogs do. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a what's in my purse video. These were super popular in like, I don't know, 2013, 2015, and I'm kind of just guessing here. I remember Blair Fowler did it, and Elle Fowler, and um, Miss Glamorazzi Ingrid. I forgot her full name, or I forget her full name. Uh, anyways, it was super popular, everybody did it. Um, some of them were very staged, and you could see everything was like super organized, and some were like just really random as well. Um, anyways, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do it. I haven't gone through my purse to see what's in here, so it's gonna be new to me. So this, although a very, very, very popular purse, I still wanted it, so when was it? Oh, a little over two years ago. Yeah, about two, two and a half years ago. Um, I wanted a new Louis Vuitton purse, and you know, I kept looking at all the different styles and the new purses and everything, but I kept wanting to go back to this guy um, only because when I was younger, like in college and stuff, it was so unattainable to purchase a designer purse, let alone, um, you know, this purse. So at that time, everybody was buying this model. I think it's like the Neverfull MM or NM. I don't, I don't know the different models of them, but um, I was always so jealous of people who could afford it. Um, and so when the opportunity came to buy a new purse, I wanted something that was like a bucket bag that my kids could throw things into that I could wear it every day. Um, and it was by default, I picked this one. Like this, I always bring in the straps. I am five foot, so I like to have like a smaller, more petite bag. And I'll be honest, I don't wear this every day, not even most of the time. This is my weekend bag, so if we're going anywhere with the kids um, that I need snacks, diapers, anything like that, this kind of is like my little diaper bag, if you will. So the kids always grab in here. This is like an informal bag for me. Um, so I do try to clean it out like going into the weekend just so that I fill it up with snacks. I kind of take inventory of what's in here, what's not in here, and fill it up and get it prepared for the following week. So I had to open this up so I can get a wide look into the purse first thing i see is a make it blocks fire rescue um little like lego set i got this from the dollar tree i think it's like a dollar 25 now i always run in and grab so many of these because these are perfect when you go out to a restaurant um and you're waiting for your food just pull one of these out, give it to your kids, and then this keeps them busy. So it has like the little instructions on there. The kids will build up the Legos while you're talking and everything, and you're not having a hangry kid who's just waiting for food. So I have a lot of these. Uh, this one sounds fairly empty. I think that Christian uh, recently built this up, so this probably has like the little extra Legos in it. I have my sunglasses. These are no-name Target brand sunglasses. I used to have a lot of like the Ray-Ban um, sunglasses. I really like the aviator style, but every time I put them in my hair, they would get stuck and I'd end up having to like pull it out. My hair would get all messed up. Um, and then I end up losing them and I don't know, getting scratched and stuff. So I bought these a couple years ago at Target and they've lasted forever. So I think I'm just gonna be a, a no-name sunglass girl from here on out. I don't see the need of really purchasing nice ones anymore. I have my two phones, my my work phone, and then my personal phone. This is a <laughs> Claritin Outdoor Adventure Guide. It's like a little booklet that has like, I don't know, outside projects for little ones. Uh, the reason I have it in my purse though, you see like there's a word search, little activity book, I guess. 
this was a freebie and like one of our Walmart delivery purchases, they came with like a bag of goodies and samples and stuff and this was in there. There wasn't like a sample of the Claritin. But I liked it and I threw it in my bag because it has stickers. And going back to the Lego thing, I really like to have st stuff in my purse that I can pull out and the kids can play with. So stickers are always a great thing to have on hand. And since it was free, I threw it in my bag. I have some feminine products. I have a to toy boat. I think this is part of one of the kids' um, bath toys. I don't know how to end up in my purse. Tissues. Tissues are really, really important when you have little ones. The sticker doesn't work on it anymore, but. <sighs> what is this? Ooh, watermelon high liquid IV. I might try this today. I think I've actually tried the watermelon one, but I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it. So I'm not sure if I've tried this. I feel like I have before. I think Walmart has given me a sample of the watermelon liquid IV. I'm not sure if I was a fan of it. I don't think I was, but they gave me another sample the last time they did the Walmart delivery. So I threw it in my purse. I have a Johnson & Johnson first aid kit. And Christian had put a whole bunch of stickers on here. Um, it looks like I only have one lone survivor left. I have in this little Elsa uh, bag, I have some Tylenol and some ibuprofen. Very important for the adults to have headache medicine. Um, Band-Aids, alcohol wipes, oh, and gauze. So it's just a small little first aid kit. I do like, so we don't really use this a lot, but I definitely think it's necessary to have something like this in my purse at all times, just in case there's any boo-boos that happen. I have Altoids. Altoids you can never go wrong with. I have a little goldfish. Goldfish for the boys. So this is my wallet. This is my day-to-day -day wallet. You can see it's like really beat up and banged up. And the reason I like this is it has my key fob in here. And I don't, I have a push to start car and I park in the garage. So I don't necessarily ever need to pull out my keys, but I do need to have the key fob on me at all times. And then it has um, some credit cards, my license, insurance card, and my gym card in here. And if you see, uh, it has KK in here, which are my initials. Um, I think this is a gift. Two, four, six. This was a gift to me by Han. And if you can see it, I mean, it's just been used. I have a Children's Museum membership card. This is part of a Lego set, I think. It's water. Um, and it fits into like a boat and it shoots out and I think we were at a store one time and Christian kept shooting this out and it would go on the floor and I would have to pick it up and so I was like I'm done and I stuck it in my purse so that needs to go back to the downstairs Lego set and then in this bag so this came with the purse let's see what's in here I have a spoon and knife super cute I didn't know I had that in there chopstick this is the Burt's Bees chopstick I don't like Burt's Bees as much as I used to. I used to love Burt's Bees, but I got into CarMax recently. But this is good for the boys. Another pack of tissues that lost its sticker on the back. Um, what is this? Sunscreen, SPF 70. This is really important, especially living in Arizona and the hot heat. I have a lipstick from Wet n Wild in the color Bear It All looks like that it's a pretty color okay I have a pen be very very careful with pens I learned my lesson a very hard way of having one of those click pins in my purse and it just stained a lot of the bottom of my purse so I have to be very careful now so I have this type of pen where it has the lid and I keep it very secure in here so don't do what I did and just let a, a pin go amok in your purse. <laughs> that was a bad, bad thing. I have a Carmex. This is um, the little lip balm one. I love these, the little squeezy tubes. I actually like this a lot. I have several of them in the house. A little hair tie. 
a wet wipes two pack, a hand sanitizer wipe. I think I got this from like a hotel stay or something. I threw it in my purse. <sighs> These are fragrance free dude wipes. This was another Walmart delivery sample pack where they gave us something for free. Um, <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it, so I just threw it in my purse. I don't know, wipes, you, you can't really ever go wrong with wipes. Um, and, oh, this is just the, I don't know, like the cards for the Louis, the Never Full MM, NM? I don't know. Anyway, so those are part of there. I, I guess I just never picked that out. Okay, and last but not least, I have this little pocket right here. Let's see what's in here. Okay. I have this little insert. It has my initials on this guy, KK. Uh, credit cards here. I have some cards. This is Botanical Garden membership. A card from somebody when I traveled. Like their business card my care mac prescription card my old virginia license um church card i don't know i have that in here and then two free tucson botanical gardens membership uh, or i'm sorry a guest ticket there's two of those in there and i think i have just one more thing in here i have a quarter for a gumball and then in here is just a, um, I don't know, some cash. I have cash in here. And here is where I had the pen marks. So I tried to clean it, but it is stained and that's okay. Like I said, this, this purse is loved. This purse is definitely used by the whole family. They all throw their little murky hands in here to grab things. Um, so I'm not that mad about it. Um, anyways, that is everything I have in my purse. Um, not a huge mess i'm not somebody who has like a whole bunch of receipts or something in my purse but i also know that it's a lot of kids stuff really kids stuff and then like prepared mom stuff like sunscreen and first aid kits and stuff but anyways that was everything i have in my purse like most days i'm just carrying my wallet and my phone and i'm just running in and running out of somewhere hope you guys have a great week and we'll talk soon